Hello and welcome to the FA Cup. It's the AFC Wimbledon Wembley Wombly's taking on Birmingham City. Oh, it's going to be a great day out. Birmingham not in the top flight of English football. Us in the top flight of English football. Also, we've got a new player to tell you about. I'm very excited to share the news with you. Uh, it occurs to me, by the way, that if I can get a lead in this game, I need to rest the John Greens. Don't let me forget to do that. I just need to, like, get a lead, get to halftime. There he is, our new defender, Kyle Walker-Peters. Gummy has had an injury, and so we've signed this fella on loan. His name's Kyle Walker-Peters. I like his name. Also, I like his stats. Check this out. Check this out. He's a 71, making him the second best player on our entire back line. So it's not uh, it's not perfect, but it's good. I'm excited to, uh, to play this game today. I'm also going to solve a problem from Hillary, who says, I'm a competitor and I struggle with handling loss and also really believing people when they say I should be proud of myself anyway for trying, for like stepping into the cage or what have you. Wait, are you like in MMA? Do you have any thoughts on loss and potential loss without demeaning yourself? Sorry, I was reading... I'm really lucky I didn't just score an own goal because I was reading while just hitting the A button and I gave up a pretty, pretty low quality corner kick. <laughs> I was just trying to pass the ball around while I was reading Hillary's problem and I that might have been some of my least impressive FIFA playing. Oh boy, I hope we don't lose this game. Um, gosh, okay, time to focus, Green. All right, right, so... Obviously, Hillary, I'm great at handling loss because I have to do it all the time. It is, it's, it is much harder. It's hard to be. It's, it's much harder to not be a. So it, it's really hard to not be a sore loser. That's what I'm trying to say. It is hard, and it's hard because everybody wants to win. It, it feels good, and losing. Losing, it just sucks. Like, it feels really bad, especially in competition. Like, I remember I was um, not a great athlete in high school. This is going to surprise you to learn, Hillary, but I wasn't a great athlete in high school, as opposed to now when I am a properly good athlete. And, like, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't like losing, you know, at, at the things I was competitive at, like Scholars Bowl or Academic Decathlon or whatever. But I really, really look at look at Kyle Walker Peters. This guy is a revelation. To ball, John Green. It's good. It's good. Kyle Walker Peters. Is he going to get the assist? No, because I got selfish. I needed I needed Dicko to kind of crash into the middle there, and I feel like Dicko was just staying on the wing when the obvious thing to do was to go into the box. But I don't know how to give Dicko those instructions from inside this video game that I'm not very good at. So therein, therein lies 90% of my dilemma. I would get really frustrated, but I was actually, I found like athletic loss even more difficult. Like it was difficult when um, my, my, the teams I, I rooted for would lose. Like when my high school, I was a huge fan of my high school soccer team and my high school basketball team. And it was difficult for me when they would lose. I would feel so bummed out and, and everything and then but it was really difficult for me when I was on a team and that team would lose like I remember this was true in middle school I was on my middle school's soccer team and again I wasn't great and I would get so frustrated when we would lose but also I was on my high school ultimate frisbee team and I remember one time we played the uh, Birmingham ultimate disc association and they were so much better than us. Like, they ran plays. We were we were completely outclassed. I don't think we scored in the game. And it was just super frustrating because I've just felt like, you know, it is frustrating to be reminded that, like, some people are just much, much better than you. And while it is true, Hillary, that you should be commended for trying um, and... And that, you know, ultimately, most of us are not competing to become professional athletes. We are we are competing because we, you know, we, we love what we're doing. We love the sport that we're involved in or, or we love um, whatever competition it is we're involved in. And, and, and we like the people and, and it helps us to build community and gives us a sense of identity and all of those things. Like it's it's more fun to win. It's better to win. And, um, you know, 
I find it very helpful. There's a soccer podcast I like called Men in Blazers, and one of the hosts of that podcast often says, when your team wins, it doesn't mean that you're a better person, and when your team loses, it doesn't mean that you're a worse person. And that's true. Like, it's ultimately... I think partly because we we have this uh, almost fetishization of of winning in the United States and maybe elsewhere too. I don't know. By the way, we're we're not playing very well for a team that just beat Arsenal four nil. We're really struggling against second tier Birmingham City, and I, I don't really know what the issue is. Kyle Walker Peters is having a nice game, but we've got we've got ten. I think maybe ten sets of tired legs out there. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I shouldn't have picked a topic that's about losing if I wanted to win a game. I'm not sure. Oh, that's really good by Meadsy. Really patient, and I appreciate his hard work in that arena. And then it's other John Green to ball John Green, which is just it's a beautiful combination. And then back to your husband. Oh, it's husband to husband to husband to husband to. Mm, no. Dicko? No. Well, I really like... Basically, that was just two great players uh, interacting with each other, and it was beautiful to watch. But unfortunately, it didn't end in a goal. And are John Green and John Green slightly mad at each other? I don't like to see that. I thought that they did a nice job communicating, and I'm going to tell them so at halftime. So, like, so what I was saying is that partly because we have this fetish of winning we also have this weird belief that like winning is primarily about working hard and primarily about whether you worked hard enough and whether you were committed enough and so when you lose it doesn't just feel like oh this person had a better day or this person is you know better at this sport than I am it feels like oh I didn't put in enough work like I am like more broadly than just this game a failure i came up i came up short because of a personal weakness or or because like i'm just not good i'm not valuable in the same way that this other person is valuable or this other you know this other team is valuable or whatever and that's a lot to hold you know that is a lot. Okay, Dicko is tired. I'm not going to bring on Vinny Thrill because that's a terrible idea. I'm going to bring on brand new striker. Um, his name is King Udo, and I just I just purchased him. And I know what you're thinking. Why did you buy a player who's not very good in a position where you already have too many players? And the answer is because I liked his name, King Udo. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you about why I did it when we all know why I did it. All right. I'm also bringing on Omar, son, son of Omar. And hopefully th this these are the changes that we need to make. You know what? Everybody's going to be critical of King Udo unless he goes and wins the game for us with a stunning goal in his AFC Wimbledon debut. And then we lift the FA Cup at the end of the season shortly before or after winning the Premier League. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, you're a genius. So let's let's not let's not get mad at me too early. I mean, first off, King Udo just made a really good interception and he's having himself a nice little time over there. And then he got dispossessed because I didn't pass the ball. That's on me, not on King Udo. So I, I still have a hard time with this. I still like to win stuff and I still end up wrapping up part of my identity in, you know, whether I'm achieving whatever goals I have or whether I feel like I'm, you know, doing a good job of the things that I care about and, or, or the things that I feel competitive about, you know, um, my my field doesn't really it doesn't have like winning the way that like football has winning, you know, where there's one team that at the end is, is the loser and one team at the end that is the winner. By the way, that was a really good from Omar son, son of Omar. And then ball John Green with a fantastic move around the defender. Please don't do it. Oh, my God. He can't help himself. He doesn't know how to stop doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that ball. John Green finally with the breakthrough. And immediately, look at this. This is just, I mean, he just got past him. And then there's no stopping him once he's there. That goal happened because Omar, son of Omar, 
uh, took the ball away from Birmingham in a really, really good position. Did that say that that was Ball John Green's 62nd goal of the season? I don't think it did, but that also doesn't seem impossible to me. No, I think it was the 62nd minute. But um, Ball John Green, he is having himself a world-class season, a Ballon d'Or winning season. So the thing that I tell myself, Hillary, and I don't know if this will help you, but the thing that I tell myself is that what I am trying to get out of life is is not to to win it's it's to participate in interesting stuff with interesting people like that oh king udo oh king udo everything but the end king udo oh you probably could have taken a touch king oh you could have been you could have been beloved this it could have been the most amazing day, but it still could be. Let's not give up. It still could be. It still could be. There he is on the ball. There he is. He's he's, he's pretty quick actually. King Udo? Mm, no, no. I probably should have just passed it to Paul John Green, who's a ninety-one overall skill level. Oh, oh! I missed the pass. Shoot! 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 Oh wow! Everything that was that, that was like. Uh, that was more like FIFA than it was like soccer. The thing I try to tell myself is that what really what I am trying to do is do my best work and honor my con for lack of a better term like my consciousness. Like do right by what I have been given as a as a person. Like the ability to think, the ability to move my body, the ability to be in collaboration and connection with other people. That's what I'm really trying to do. And when I get focused on the results, when I get focused on, on when, I, when I become only focused on whether or not I won or whether or not this video did well or whether or not I, I, I met this metric of success that I've defined for myself, instead of being focused on the process, whether I was pleased with the work that I put into the video, whether I was able to articulate myself um, in the way that I wanted to, whether I was able to say what I wanted to, I get I, I end up mixing up what is important with what is what is easy to measure. It's super easy to measure wins and losses. It's much harder to measure, but ultimately more important, at least in my opinion what you got out of an experience or whether you've learned something about yourself or whether the process of preparation for the competition allowed you to do something that you hadn't done before or to experience something that you otherwise wouldn't have experienced. So if I can be focused on process, processes instead of results, which is actually something I've learned from sports, like that's a, that's a, that's a big thing in sports these days is to like focus on process and preparation and not and, and and not focus so much on results and I I have found that when I put that in my life my life gets a lot better um, in a lot of ways not just in not just professionally but it also gets better personally um, and so that's what I that's what I try to do like so if, if if I lost like that's okay because it wasn't really about the result anyway also if I win Oh my god, I just almost gave up a horrendous goal in the 90th minute, and Birmingham City is rightly devastated. They were that close to a replay, but fortunately it looks like it's not going to happen. And um, I think we just need to kill off this time. It hasn't been a, uh, hasn't been a glorious victory for AFC Wimbledon, but I, I believe that that doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it still counts. There I go being too focused on the result and not focused enough on the process. It does matter that the process hasn't been great, and I wish the process had been better, and I will endeavor to do a better process next time. But in the meantime, oh, King Udo. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like he's going to be a starter for us, but it doesn't look at the joy. Look at the joy. I think there's a lot to learn. I think we need to get better. I think we need to be process-focused, Hillary, not result-focused. But as it happens, the result today was a good one. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.